Okay. So after playing Torum online recently, I went into Avabel online, which is another Asobimo MMORPG with very high expectations. Those expectations were unfortunately not met. See, Torum online not only provided you the ability to highly customize your character, it offered absolutely no autoplay in the game whatsoever, and generally looked and felt like an MMORPG. Ababel Online, however, is literally the exact opposite. Not only do you not really have any kind of options when customizing your character, but so much of the game is just auto pathing and auto combat that there really isn't much in terms of active participation that I had. And that really disappointed me. See, there seemed to be a lot to do in Avabel. The environments were pretty good. The combat itself wasn't bad. Like this is not a bad game or would not be a bad game if the game wasn't as heavily autoplay as it is. You have a variety of different classes to choose between. I went with the mage because I feel like going mage in games is probably one of the more, more fun classes for me. You have really fancy looking flashy spell effects as opposed to traditional just like stab or slash or jab effects or, or like shooting an arrow. And let me tell you, that was definitely the wrong class to go. I went that and I was just, I was killing so, so slowly that as soon as I could, I changed my class to, to a melee class that was hopefully going to allow me to kill faster. And it did. And honestly, it did. And at that point, when I went a melee class, the combat actually got better. See, as the mage, my spell effects would take so long to cast that I felt like I was never really doing much damage. However, as a melee class, I had to constantly swap between which of the active skill tree window, like, oh man, I, I've, I've got to learn what the term for that is, but it's a little area, like the, 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 the wheel area down the bottom right, you know, where all, all your abilities are located, but you could have up to three of those wheels. You could cycle between those three wheels and doing that as a melee class made the combat a lot more engaging because I needed to pay active attention to which of my abilities were currently in cooldown and which weren't. This allowed me to deal a lot more damage, of course, and made things a lot more fun, but at the same time, like there was just so much autoplay. I was autopathing all over the world. I was autopathing to every quest objective. I was autopathing to every NPC and there really wasn't anything for me to see or anything for me to do. Now, I've been playing Avabel pretty much the entire week. And at the end of the day, in terms of like an MMO, this definitely feels like a mobile MMO. It feels like like they they had an idea like they did with Torum and then they they kind of like imported Torum into this and then they were like now let's just quickly make the game autoplayed so we can bank as much as we possibly can off of the game in as little time as possible and that is essentially my thought process when playing Avabel and th that is pretty much my entire thought of the game like it doesn't matter that this game looks like it could potentially be a fun MMO. It doesn't matter that the combat, if you don't use autoplay, is actually not bad. The fact that you can auto through everything is just a a serious turnoff for me. And I tried sitting through a week. I tried giving this game as long a chance as I could, but the game overall was just so repetitious. All it had me do was pretty much just go in a linear line. I would kill a few monsters, then I would get teleported into some instance where I would kill a few more monsters and I would get teleported out of the instance, continue in a linear line to the next NPC and just repeat that over and over every day for an entire week. And that is not something that I enjoy, unfortunately. I'm sure there are those of you out there that do enjoy that aspect of Avabel, and that is perfectly fine. That is why you watch a variety of different content creators, you follow a variety of different influencers, so you can get reactions, you can get opinions from a variety of different people that may or may not have the, the same reaction or have the same opinions as you. At the end of the day, Torum Online, totally a game I would play. Avabel Online, definitely a game I would avoid. Make it, yeah. Our hard work's gonna be worth.